Welcome back to the shop boys and girls This is a little update on the new motors. I got them in uh, and I know y'all are wondering <clears throat> If I say a motor pulls this many watts or this many amps or anything I know some of you are probably wondering well, how do you know that and uh, What I've got there is the battery very ugly by the way uh but that's the watt meter and that's the amp meter and the power analyzer that I use whenever I'm testing a motor. It's high precision it's uh, mainly used for like solar charging cells and, and stuff like that but I use it for you know to record data for motors and stuff that I mess with in the shop. And like I said, it tells you how many watts you're running, how many amps you're pulling, the volts you've got coming in, various other information. Uh, and it pretty much tells you what this motor's going to pull. I mean, you know, you're looking at 19 watts right there. And it's going to fluctuate because there's no load on it. Once you put a load on it, it's going to settle on a particular wattage or whatever. And that that's coming up as I work on the motors and the casings the uh, we'll get them in the water and uh, we'll actually do a static test and we'll actually see you know exactly how much they're gonna pull how much battery you're gonna need is your solar cell big enough to do you any good uh, that right there I'm showing you the hookup because you can buy this from offshore electric the shaft and that particular coupler without drilling it or anything. It'll go right onto a five millimeter shaft to a three sixteenths uh, prop shaft, you know, a three sixteenths drive dog, and uh, you're good to go. You put whatever prop you want on it. Now these particular two motors I'm gonna run in counter rotating three blade carbon fiber props. The reason I'm doing counter rotating is because the two motors are gonna be very close together on the rudder. That is the only reason. It's not because of prop torque or anything like that. Because I, you know, that's generally what you're worried about in an RC boat. But in a kayak, you're not really worried about it. So they're going to be counter rotators for the simple reason is I don't want them robbing water from one another. I want them to grab the water from the outside of the prop rotation towards the out from the rudder and not inwards and that's the reason I'm running uh, one motor in one rotation one motor in the other you're gonna notice that the motor in the proper polarity positive to negative positive to negative is gonna pull less amps and watts than the motor in reverse polarity and uh, why this is happening there's several reasons uh, is designed to go in one direction. Uh, they can go in either direction, just like drill motors. Uh, that you know, if you got your cordless drills, they go in either direction. But you always notice that they see, have a little bit more power in forward than they do reverse. And it's not necessarily that they have any more power. It's the fact that the motors are really, you know, not real happy, or not. I ain't gonna say real happy, but. They're happier running in the, you know, the proper polarity than reverse polarity. These motors will run in either one. But you're, you're going to see that the reverse motor is going to pull a little bit more watts than the other one. That's up until the brushes and the commutator and the bushings and everything you know, wear in. And then that will probably even out. These are brand new motors. They have never been run. Uh, this is the first run. They've never been under any load or anything like that. Uh, so if you do want to run counter rotators, and I'm doing this just for the heck of it. Really no other reason. Uh, 
you know, you can buy the props to go counter rotating either way. I really wanted to just see how it worked, you know, and see if it's any better. And you're going to see me switching the two motors over, and you're going to see whenever I kick one on how it rotates to the left or the right. That one kicked to the right. You're going to see the power consumption is going to be different from the two motors is because the polarity is different between the two motors. And these uh, power analyzers, they give you a lot of information on what the motor's doing. Right now, they're under zero load, so they're going to fluctuate. They're, they're not under any kind of load whatsoever. Now, you're going to see the polarity on this one is reversed. I have the power, the positive on the negative, the negative on the positive. Now, you're going to see the uh, result of what kind of watts it pulls. And that's where these meters do really come in really nice. And you're going to look at this thing and it's going to be, you know, you're going to have 19 watts, you know, to 17. It's going to fluctuate to 20 to 18. It's going to kind of hover around there. And uh, really that zero amp hours, you know, zero watt hours or whatever. And, you know, but there's no load on them. This, this is free running. So now I'm going to unplug that one, and I'm going to plug in the motor in the proper polarity, or the one the manufacturer intended. He, he, you could run clockwise or counterclockwise with these motors, it doesn't matter. And if you notice the back bushing, these already have a thrust bearing in them, so I won't be putting a thrust bearing on this particular one because the thrust bearing is already on the motor and they are a high torque motor. You're going to see the way it rotates. It wants to rotate a different rotation whenever I kick it on. And you're going to notice whenever it's running the proper uh, rotation, it's going to be a, a few less watts, not a whole bunch of difference. You know, uh, but a little less. And uh, guys, if you like what you're seeing, hit like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Okay? Have a good day.